In this video, we're going to talk about locating course content, assignments, dated assignments, and graded assignments. So one thing you'll notice here is we're on the home page. And from the home page, you can see a lot of your course material here in what's called the home page calendar. If I scroll over, you'll notice that there's a lot of objects that I can see for each week of the course. And this is a great tool for um, a quick view. So if I click on one of these, I can see the content. So that's a, a really good way of getting a quick view. However, to get the full view of the content, you really do need to click on the View Course button. This will show you everything that's in the course, even things that don't have dates associated with them. So let's take a look at this Module 1 example. You'll notice in Module 1 we've got some items that are highlighted. These items are highlighted because they have dates associated with them. And they're dates that are things that are due this week, or things I should at least be starting on this week. You'll also notice that some of these items have points associated. So for instance with this one, I can tell that this one is worth 22 points. But you'll notice that this one does not have any uh, points and neither does this one. So this is a graded assignment. So that's how you're going to be able to quickly identify graded assignments. So I'm going to click on this one and you'll notice again it's 22 points and I also see the 22 points here. Um, if I had an estimate it would tell me the estimated time and it tells me when I should start it and when it should be due. So I, that's how I know all of that information. As I scroll down I can see my student content section. This is where you're going to find all of the information about how to complete the assignment, um, what you have to do, how you'll be graded, um, and all the really particular information about that. So always read and take a look at that student content section to get all of the information. In addition, if it's something that has to be turned in through Blue Quill, you'll see a submit button. And that submit button is where you'll submit that assignment to your instructor to be graded. So again, as I scroll down through the course, you'll notice that there are other items that have dates as well as points, but those are not highlighted because they go into the next week, so I don't have to start those yet. And as I scroll down further, you'll see additional ones and on toward the bottom. So the idea of this course and the way it's put together is um, it could be done by weeks, it could be done by modules, but each of these learning objects will provide information about what you should be doing, if it's an assignment, if it's information, and it will tell you when it's due.